Hey everybody, courtesy of Image Inform Games, this indie focus is all about SteamWorld Quest Hound of Gilgamesh. And man, I'm having a blast with this game. I'm only about three hours in, but I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm just going to skip this because I don't want to show you anything since I'm in the fifth chapter. Um, but this game is really good so far. I really like the combat, and I'm really excited to share this with you. I even like the art. These guys do really good at like everything that they do. So We found the key, Sir Ulrich. You Terrific. All this sitting is bad for your back, you know. I'll re reiterate this about a day. I can't keep up. Oh, no. I'm doing this way too fast, and my fingers and brain aren't working together, so hopefully we can just not worry about that right this second. Oh, yes. Ah, that's much better. Oh, I've got a question. What's that Gilgamesh like? I bet he was real smart. Listen, friends, I'm very grateful you let me out and so on. Um, however, I cannot stand around all day. I have rather pressing matters to attend to. Ta-ta. <laughs> so, I'll say that guy's suspicious as hell. Come on, give him a break. Who knows how long he'll be? He's been sitting there. That's another thing. We still don't know anything. It's going too fast. My fingers, my fingers. Actually, you can control how fast that goes. I just really, honestly, am like trying to push through this. I don't necessarily want to show, but then I'm like, read it, and I'm like, nah. But it's cool. Uh, anyway, this game is really cool. I really like all that they do. And uh, in the beginning, I was really upset here because I was like, could not believe uh, how slow you moved. And then I figured out that you hold ZR and then it allows you to run. So that kind of opens up stuff. And they have really cool areas like this. I mean, this the map is like a something that's very akin to SeamWorld Dig, kind of. It's a little bit different, but it's, it's interesting. Uh, this is like a little uh, dungeon area, I guess you would call it. And so far, I've done one of these in the game. This would be the second one. And pretty much just looking around here for some monies. Oh, yeah, super money. Uh, as I play this, I wonder, like, what these guys are going to do next and how they're going to reiterate the gameplay. Looks like this gate is connected to a spring mechanism. Hmm. Meaning we can probably find a lever that operates it somewhere around here. Our heroes are determined to overcome this unyielding iron hurdle put in their path. Okay, time to try to open it anyway, because why not? We are gaming. If it did open, that would be the most epic thing ever. Uh, also, smashing the boxes. Huh? How in the world did the wagon get down here? <laughs> well, it involved a stepladder and a pair of high heels. Anyway, it wasn't that easy. All right. Yeah, there's some cool stuff you can buy down here, specifically these cards to craft, and this is impressive to me. Um, I don't currently have enough. This one looks really cool. Um... But you can craft cards. Uh, each of your people holds eight cards, even though there's going to be a lot more than that in your deck. Um, I know there's been a few times where I've honestly just wished, like, oh, man, I wish I could hold or, or put more cards into my deck. But I understand completely why. And so it's okay. You know, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, it's one of those things that honestly kind of simplify. You know how they say less is more? Well, in this game, they really take that to the next level. The battle system, which you'll see a lot of, um, coming up as soon as I run up on some enemies. Uh, it's it's really here's one. Speak the devil. Uh, it's a slime. Bada boom. Got you slime. Let's fight. So these are the cards, and um, you can see the cost in the top right. There's no cost on these, which means they build our top meter up there. Yeah, there we go. And I'm all about the chains. You'll know that whenever you start playing this game, if you uh, really simple chains to do are three cards from the same character. And in this case, it inflicts bleed on the enemy, which means every time they try to attack you or anything like that or do any action, they take damage. So that's pretty big. In this case, uh, it looks like we're not going to get to do a three of the same, so we'll just do those. Regenerate's always good. See how he took that damage on double stab? That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, we got steam punch, steam punch, and mend. Because why not? We want a chain. That's right. Some water jet. I love this water jet. It like just pours water on them. <laughs> it's not even like he's like, want some water? Shazam. So yeah, the fights are really cool. I, I think that there are some that are really challenging, and then there are some that might not necessarily be so challenging. But this game ultimately is just really neat. It's really cool, and I really, really like it. Uh, so what I'm going to do, just so I'm not like talking so, so much, I'm just going to let the rest of this game play out. 
Be sure to like and subscribe for all things Game Store, all things Nintendo Switch. Thank you guys so much for hooking me up with this game image and form. I really, really, really like it. And so I'm just going to be quiet and play from here on out. I hope you guys really enjoy this. You should pick this up. I highly recommend this game. And uh, yeah, so yeah, victory. That's what I'm talking about. Let's keep it going. Chili fight. Chili fight. Chili fight. Chili fight.
Don't go back. Game Stalk, delivering news, reviews, and playthroughs like a newborn baby.